It was a stormy night and a battleship was on exercise at sea. The captain of that battleship was on the bridge looking into the foggy night waters which lay ahead. Suddenly, the lookout spotted a light on the starboard side. The captain asked if it was steady or moving. The lookout replied that the light was steady, which meant that they were on a direct collision course with that ship. The captain quickly ordered the lookout to signal to the other ship, change your course 20 degrees right now. We are on direct collision course. The signal came back, advisable for you to change course. The captain was obviously furious and he signaled back, I am a captain. Change your course 20 degrees right now. A minute later, the signal came back. I am a seaman, second class. You had better change your course 20 degrees right now. By now, the captain was in an outrage. He sent back, I am the captain of the battleship. Change your course right now or face the consequences. A minute later, the signal came back. I am a lighthouse. Your move. Obviously, the captain changed course. But how often do we jump to conclusions, assuming that we know the truth of the situation when, in fact, we don't actually see what's happening? The most powerful learning experience a human being can have is a paradigm shift, where we learn to perceive something in a fundamentally different way. Because if you take a moment to think about it, you'll realize an important truth. There are really two forms of seeing. The first is a physical sight, whereby the external stimulus is simply perceived as a physical form. When light reflects off of an object, your eyes can pick up that stimulus through your sense of sight. However, there is a deeper form of sight as well which is to see what resides behind that physical and external stimulus. For example, two people can see the same exact physical object, but have two completely different internal experiences. This can be applied to emotional experiences as well. When two people read the same story, they can be moved very differently. It can be applied to intellectual experiences. When two people read the same texts, could be of Talmud, could be of something else. They understand it on completely different levels of depth. But it can be expressed in terms of spiritual depth as well. In other words, true sight requires an inner depth far beyond physical sight. When you see something, do you just physically see it? Or do you see past the surface, translating physical sight into an empowering meaning? Because truly seeing is not about what we see. It's about how we see. So let's take a minute to look at our own inner paradigms and think about the type of life we're creating for ourselves. When things happen in your life, are they happening to you or for you? Do you believe that everything happens for a reason or is your life just a collection of random coincidences? Are your challenges and ordeals an opportunity to grow? or a reason to quit? What about the relationships you're in? Do we view relationships as a means to take and receive pleasure or an opportunity to give ourselves completely to someone else, to expand beyond the limited borders of our individual self? But perhaps most importantly, how do we perceive ourselves? Do we view ourselves as unique, special, destined for greatness? Or are we just average, an average just and trying to get by and survive? Do we genuinely believe that greatness is something elusive, reserved only for the few gifted among us? Or is it in fact something real, within reach, something within each of us that all of us can achieve? This is the deep truth about perception. You get to choose how you see the world, how you experience your life. Your paradigms can empower you or cripple you. Your worldview can inspire or paralyze. The choice is solely up to you. That is the beauty, the potential tragedy of perception. So let's utilize this skill set. 
and build deeper and more empowering perceptions. Because sometimes we need to recognize that we're heading straight towards a lighthouse.